How do you get government officials to actually fix up a country? The answer is very simple. You make them use all of the things that they actually implement. And this is a very, very simple principle. And I want to discuss this with you in a bit more detail. And it's something that my wife said a long time ago about hospitals. When you have a, a state hospital and it's in disrepair, you force all government officials, all elected officials to only use state hospitals because they will be the best looked after hospitals after the fact. And when you actually look at our transport system, the disarray that it's in, the railway system, uh, Praza, etc., you force all government officials to use taxis, you force them to use the trains, you force them to use the buses, not their own car cades, and then it'll be fixed up in no time. Why can't they actually do this? So the principle of forcing government officials to use the very facilities that they are supposed to be looking after and be spending money on is a very simple principle, and it certainly will fix things up. But we know things don't work that way. Now, why doesn't it? At the moment, out of every one rand of tax that you pay, 58 cents of that goes towards the salaries of government employees. 58 cents. A further 22 cents goes towards funding national debt. 22 cents out of every rand that you spend goes towards servicing debt for things that you probably don't ever see. So we have a crisis in this country because the truth is that 80% or 80 cents in every rand that you spend on tax does not go towards helping or serving you. Now, if you look at profit sharing in business and so on, this makes our government a huge business that serves many people's interests. And this is all they are. And that is why the proper role of governance needs to be defined. And this is some, certainly something that the OM is the only political organization or movement at the moment trying to do, is to establish what is the proper role of government and what do we need a national government for. And then, if you work at it from that way, we can turn the pyramid on its head. We can have the people at the top where we are supposed to be and we can have the government at the bottom. It is a very simple concept. Now, if you look at South Africa and you actually look at the people that govern us, there's very few of them sitting in parliament compared to the almost 60 million people in the country. And yet, government is using most of our taxes, 58%. How can this be right? I can understand if government employees were using 20% of tax and our debt servicing was 20% and 60% or 60 cents went towards actually building the country. So we're sitting in a situation where it's impossible for our country to actually improve. The government has to become smaller. What has government done recently? They have said that they're going to increase the salaries of all government employees. They're going to increase the salaries of all the parliamentarians, the MPs, the councillors, the MPLs. They're going to get more money. Why do they do this? Because their time is running out. The Constitutional Court judgment did one very crucial thing. It took the right for someone to campaign within a party, be elected by crooks, even when you are a crook, hide behind the party, and earn a fat salary. It's been turned on its head. Now the moment that happened, they all went into overdrive. They are going to try and get as much out of this fiscus as they can until there is nothing left. Literally. They have two years to do this. So expect them to increase their attack on us, increase their salaries, increase their looting to a level never before seen. And they do not care the state of the hospitals, the state of the municipalities. 
They do not care about the state of the transport systems that we find ourselves in because they're not in it. You will not find President Cyril Ramaphosa using the train, a bus or a taxi. You will also not find him dead in a government hospital. You will also not find him standing at a municipality in a queue to renew his driver's license. He doesn't do these things. He can never understand what we go through. And that is why he needs to leave his office. That's why they all need to leave their offices. The day they are willing to make use of the services they purport to actually be providing to us, that day I will start believing them. So let's all start to call on all these public servants to use taxis, buses and trains. Let's call on them to use only government hospitals. Let's call on them to use all the public facilities. Personally, I want to see Cyril standing in a queue when he renews his car license. But now he gets chauffeured around. Let them start living like normal South Africans. Then I will start believing them. I hope you will start this drive with me. Start the drive to force government officials to use the same rubbish they provide us. Then I will believe them. Thank you very much.